Well, it seems this week I'm on a bit of a one-out roll and um, I published a blog a couple of days ago about managing your personal and home type things in OneNote. And um, I thought I'd share it again, especially because uh, we're on the eve for tomorrow is ESPC20. And I'm very excited for that. So I thought I'd share some ideas on how you can manage that information from your conferences better, but even use it for learning and for training online. So in this uh, OneNote notebook of mine, and I've just done it in my personal one, I've now created a section for a specific conference, and this could be online, it could be a conference that you're attending in person, but it also works perfect for training. So doing a bit of prep work up front before you actually get to the conference or to the learning or the training center or whatever really does save a lot of time. So I normally have um, just some information about the conference. So, um, and then if you get any emails, like maybe your registration email or any notes or hey, um, use these hashtags, etc. I normally put it in on there. And then I also build pages for, let's say, the agenda. Now, um, most of the conferences, you can actually export the PDF of the agenda. Now, sometimes at conferences when I attend, I struggle with the Wi-Fi, so can't always quickly look up something. And some conferences does have a little app you can use. But for me, I normally just export that uh, PDF, and then I just go and I insert it as a printout. So there you can see there's the printout. So then I just go and find that. And again, it's searchable, which is really, really cool. So I normally insert the agenda and I just add the link as well in case I want to go straight to the website. Then um, I normally go and stalk the speakers a little bit. And as you can see, there is loads of incredible speakers this year um, for ESPC. So uh, I normally go and check out who the speakers are. And if there's some of them that I want to follow or there's sessions that I want to go to, I make notes on that. Okay. Then I will go and build a page for each of the days or whatever there might be. And I then go and look at the schedule and the sessions that I want to attend. So for example, and I'll use my session, um, there on uh, day one, there's day two, it's actually not. So my session I think is actually day three, doesn't matter. But um, so I think mine is there, I think it's the 15th. So I then make little sections for the specific days. And then I just indent pages below it. So those are the keynotes I want to attend. Um, and there's, for example, a session I want to attend. And then normally I go stalk the speaker a little bit. Go check them out on LinkedIn. I'll grab their Twitter handle as well um, because it's nice to tweet nice, cool ideas out, etc. So I put this all into my OneNote. And then while I'm in the session, now again, remember, you can apply this to online learning. You can, reply, you can apply this to in-class learning and even conferences online or in person. And then as I'm in the session, I can take either photos with my phone and insert it on uh, OneNote. Of course, works great. Or if it's an online um, session, I can take a screen grab and I can make little notes there regarding that. And that's what I do for every single session that I then attend. So that really, really helps me a lot. So I definitely would consider doing that is grabbing the agenda, make notes about the speakers, divide it up in days, and then go and create a page already for each of the sessions that you want to attend. Who's the speaker going to be? What is the session about? So let's take a look at uh, 365 collaboration update. So I can just grab um, a screenshot of this. For example, I know who the speaker is and um, I can just take a screenshot of it. And also insert that in my OneNote, of course. So this is the keynote that I want to attend of Jeff Teeper. And then I can add his Twitter handle there as well so that I can very quickly tweet out cool things that he shared with us. So that's definitely quite a lot of help. But I definitely would consider doing this as it saves a lot of time. And I definitely use this for learning as well. There you can see is the Microsoft Service Adoption Specialist course that I did. And again, I built out a page for each of the sections. I made notes on those different pages. And it was much easier for me to actually search through there and find the content and to figure things out. So definitely works great for learning, works great for conferences. But the preparation is the important thing. Get your ducks in a row before you, uh, you arrive or before it starts, because then it's very quickly to just make notes and uh, to put details in there. So do some planning up front and build a little uh, section in your OneNote for a specific conference and build pages for the specific sessions that you want to attend. And then you can always go back to that information. Writing in books is great, people, and it's a creative process for your brain, but it's not searchable. And this way, these things are searchable and it's also actionable then so that you can do things with it or maybe go read up more or 
paste the URL in there for more reading matter. So I do hope that that's uh, helped you loads and um, hoping to see you at, uh, at ESPC 20, which is starting tomorrow, of course. And if you watch this later, of course, there's many more conferences and things that we can share in.